What's going on guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday the 21st of June and we are just over six weeks out and as of two days ago, I know it's very different from my previous vlog but just wanted to let you guys know that the shreds has begun and I'm feeling nice and tight again it's been two days only two days since we've been back on the shred train i'm still very very much focused on growing training is still going ridiculously well i may or may not film a session to add to this vlog but i do have a bunch of stuff that i already want to show you in this vlog so i may or may not add training footage otherwise i'll definitely film a training session for you hopefully i can get my hands on ethan to come and help me out with the filming otherwise i might just film myself and i'm gonna show you guys a workout but i hope you guys liked last week's leg workout my training intensity has literally like just doubled and tripled since that particular workout so if you thought that was hard i've been going even harder so it's been two days so i don't want to jinx it but energy has still been good to push really hard for my training I just think it's because I have such a good training routine at the moment. I know in the past I used to do a lot of faster training, but I'm keeping up with my having a really good solid pre-workout meal, having like a sourdough bread, and then I always have like a tiny bit of fruit. And I really this time just let it digest for a good half an hour. And then I'm on my little pre-workout cocktail. And then um, yeah, I train really, really hard. And cardio is back in. We've done two days of cardio. So at the moment, I have five cardio sessions a week, which is quite a bit. So I'll be pretty much doing cardio every day. Just half an hour at the moment, which I'm doing post-workout. So I'm not doing fasted cardio. I'm not doing... If I feel like it, just because I have the time to do so right now. But I'm fine with doing it post-workout. So that's what I've been doing. So today we trained shoulders. I had an amazing session. And then I did a half an hour um, of cardio. And um, yeah, came back to work. I did have a client, but she canceled today. So just doing some computer stuff and chilling out a little bit more today. I've been really, really, really busy over the weekend. And yesterday I had like a big, a big... <laughs> crisis i had a big crisis moment yesterday I was on the phone with the credit card company to sort out some stuff so that happened in that process that uh, my phone decided to like shit itself and die and i had to restore my whole phone yada 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 so a lot of my time was taken up yesterday doing that but um yeah today i'm a little bit more free so i've been eating clean got three meals in already have two more meals to go and i will probably do a little bit of stretching and like ball releasing a little bit later so that's something i've been still trying to do vacuums every morning even if i don't have time i just do like two positions so this morning i was in a little bit of a rush so that's what i did and i'm really on my nighttime routine as well so hopefully i'll get into a little bit more detail with exactly um you know what i do for these things in the next few videos do comment below to tell me what you like to see now that we're back in full-on prep mode and i'm just super 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 excited like i'm so excited to just head back to singapore i just got off the phone with my grandmother i um, just talking to her haven't seen her in two years really miss her can't wait to go back to singapore to see her have a home cooked meal by her and um yeah be in singapore do travel vlogs again um work really hard now save some money and go on a little bit of a mini shopping spree perhaps lots of things that i would love to do and i'm so excited to bring you guys along with me and excited to bring a different physique see how i go Initially, we wanted to bring like a much fuller kind of physique, which I still do. I still want to definitely grow into the show and get bigger. But after talking to Coach, we really want to bring that same conditioning that we did in Pittsburgh. So I'm, I'm going to be just as tight. So the goal is to bring just as tight a physique, which makes me really excited. I just, I love coming in tight. So we just kind of feel that like, you know, the judging in what they like in the Asia Pro shows probably is a little bit tighter. So I definitely don't want to sacrifice conditioning, but I do want to come in as full as I can, which I think I will be able to. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go at the moment. Everything's going really well with training. So I'm hoping if I keep the training intensity up, even though I'm back on quite a lot of cardio, it's still a lesser duration at this level of body fat. So the difference between now, where I'm at right now at six weeks out versus the prep before is that I am definitely on a lower level of cardio and a higher level of food. 
at this body weight and at this body fat percentage. So I'm feeling good about that. We don't have a high carb day planned at the moment, but um, we'll see if I come in early, then I could possibly kind of again cruise into the show like I did the last two peak weeks, you know, with no cardio and whatnot, just really let my body rest into the show. So I'm happy to push hard now probably drop a good kilo of fat and I should be good to go. So I'm really, really excited about that. I've even been enjoying my cardio sessions just because it's been half an hour and not one hour. It is making a lot of difference. So I've been enjoying my half an hour cardio sessions, listening to podcasts and yeah, just I'm enjoying the prep process. This is where I thrive the most and you can see already I'm just so much more happy and excited having a bit more direction as to where we're going. Obviously, I'm still focused on putting on size, which is my number one priority and that's why I've been so motivated to really beast it out at the gym. And so yeah, I just need to make sure I keep that up. Even if my energy levels start to dip, I'm gonna make training a priority for sure and make sure that I do everything in my power to get the best out of every single training session and hopefully that will make the difference. So like I said in my last video, I was always very focused on the scale and getting leaner the last few preps. So this time, even though like right now, yeah, we really wanna to push to get shredded, I'm not gonna be overly focused on that. I'm just focusing every day on making sure my training is on point and then just following the plan with everything else. You know, eating clean, hitting my macros, doing cardio. I can tick all those boxes easily. I've pro proven to myself time and time again that I can definitely do that. The one thing I'm really, really gonna focus on is not letting that intensity drop in my training. I wanna make sure that I'm like progressing at the gym. I'm making sure that like I just really beast it out and try to get stronger, lift heavy and just not be scared. I guess sometimes when you're like feeling lean and fragile and flat and low energy, you tend to, well, I tend to try to not really push myself too much. I guess a little bit of it's like fear of injury or I feel like I don't have the strength or energy to be able to do that. But I'm not going to take that as a, or use that as a excuse or a reason anymore. Not really excuse, but it was just like, it was something that I was scared of. But I really want to like get into that mindset like, no, you just go in there and beast it out anyways. 100% as if I'm in the off season. So that is what I plan to do with training. And I'm really excited to take you guys along with me on this journey. But yeah, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on where I'm at, let you guys know that the shreds has begun. And I'm excited to share all that with you, give you guys an updated full day of eating and all that kind of stuff. But for today's video, I have something super, super special. So me and Jeremy was doing some filming for the S Legion Instagram and YouTube page that we will be starting. And I wanted to share it with you guys on the channel as well. So basically for all the new clients who are hoping to join our coaching services, yeah, yeah, you can get me as well. So me, Jeremy, Tung or Sarah, if you sign up with us, we will have a little recipe cookbook that is like healthy, macro friendly for you guys to have for free. Obviously, we got a professional to put that together for us because you guys know how I eat is really plain and simple and basic. So I know some people like something a little bit more fun, especially if you're a lifestyle and you want something like a little bit more like exciting to eat, then it's not just like the regular kind of prep food that I've been eating lately, then you will be able to benefit from that. So I'm going to insert a few of the clips of us cooking, obviously the recipes for those as well. But yeah, anyone, if you're keen on coaching and you want to be able to get results eating, food like that feel free to drop me a dm or any of the other s legion coaches also make sure to check out the s legion instagram page we'll be posting lots of stuff there lots of content we've been working really really hard on just getting all that out so hopefully you guys enjoy but um i will roll the cooking clips for you now so today is another filming day i'm going to film a bit of behind the scenes so welcome ethan back to the vlogs we will be <laughs> so we have like some lights going on, camera and whatnot. So we're shooting for the S Legion page. But don't worry, I will also be sharing a little bit of it with you guys on the vlog. So we're going to be doing some recipes today. Jer uh, Jeremy's going to be cooking for the first time ever. Yeah, no. Nah, the last time I cooked was in high school. So if I can't do this, then this recipe book ain't good. <laughs> yeah, so basically... <laughs> We have like a recipe book thing that is obviously not made by us because you know I you know you know I eat really boring stuff. So um, we have a professional that wrote up like really cool recipes. So we're gonna try to make them today. So 
I'll catch you guys in the next clip. I'm a very boring eater because I'm always in prep, so I tend to just eat fish and rice and veggies and asparagus and chicken. But um, we have gotten a professional to write a pretty good cookbook slash like rest recipe, recipe book. Recipe yeah, book so like for a high us. protein recipe book and a low carb recipe book. 52 recipes. So we decided that, you know, we'll give it a go, try to cook this. Um, I, I'm a simple guy. So <laughs> I don't really cook. I just like my chicken breast and, you know, broccoli and rice. Just a simple way to do things. Yeah, so this is pretty new to us, but we're going to yeah. test it out. So what are we cooking today? Quick and easy meatballs. I'm the only one eating it. Nicole's not eating it, but she's helping me. First thing you need to have is lean ground beef. We're using a heart smart beef mince from Woolies. This is something me and Jeremy eat all the time. All I do is chuck it in the pan and put some seasonings and cook it. I've never made them into meatballs before, so that's gonna be exciting. So that's what we're using. And then we have a small onion, garlic, we need two garlic cloves, eggs, so we're using a free range egg, buckwheat flour, oregano, and also some bacon. Which I might've bought the wrong thing. Why but, do we need you know, the olive oil? I left it here by accident. Okay, so we, we don't need the olive oil. We don't Let's need get rid the, of the olive oil. oil. Next. Place all ingredients apart from the bacon in a bowl season with salt and pepper, mix well using your hands. Once everything, okay, so we gotta wash our hands first. Okay, well, yeah, I already <laughs> washed my hands, but let's just wash our hands again anyway. Because, you know. You're still literally splashing the water everywhere. That's very aggressive hand washing. Hey, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so you first need to chop all the ingredients up and stuff. So obviously, like, we're not gonna use, like, the whole onion. So how much onion? Okay, it says one small onion. Are we actually using the whole onion? Hey, That's a lot of onions. I, I love onions, so... Okay, you can do the chopping up. You know what? Let's chop together to make this faster. What makes you think I'm going to chop slow? Alright, so you can chop the onion. I don't want to chop the onion. Um, a quarter cup of coriander. How do we do a quarter cup? You have a cup in the... Like, so do we just like shove it in? And then... I think it's when you're mixing it together, right? No, like, so what's a quarter cup of coriander? Because we need to take it out before chopping it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we grab a cup. Okay, that's not a lot. Yeah. That's not a lot. So we'll just like, I think I'm just going to peel it off and then I'm just going to estimate. So we're going to finely dice the onion. <laughs> do you reckon the whole onion? I'm just going to do the whole onion. Finely diced. You know, I haven't done this since high school, so... Like, don't judge my cutting skills. Okay, I'm gonna start crying soon. This is the only time Nicole's ever seen me cry. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm not freaking Gordon Ramsay, so don't be judging me. <laughs> I don't have the best, like, knife skills and whatnot. I'm gonna just put the meat in first, I reckon. Okay, that'll be the first thing. And then we have to mix everything besides the bacon, apparently. Yeah. How much difference is there between the other one and this one? So in the Heart Smart Beef, it's like 5% fat, which is low. Most other ones uh, go up to like, it goes up to like 20% fat, which is like a lot. Okay, get rid of some. You know what? I did pretty well. I didn't um, cry, so pretty pretty happy with this, you know? It's success. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually alright. I'm actually excited to eat this. Didn't eat since breakfast, so this is gonna be pretty exciting. I think I might just eat all of it. <laughs> Whoa, this onion is like spicy on my eyeballs. Ooh! <laughs> Don't do that. But if you do, it's, right. it's fine. It's you know not, what? We don't use buckwheat often, it's so... It's not the end of the world. You just get the bean and then... There we go. Dip it in here, right? Okay, everything just goes in there. Yeah. Alright, the buckwheat flour. We've got the buckwheat flour in. I think garlic Parsley. cloves. Parsley. Yeah, do the garlic. So the garlic is two garlic cloves mince. Don't put the garlic on the wet thingy. Oh yeah, true. Whoops. I, I've never minced a garlic in my life. Same here. I know you have to peel it. Oh, you have to peel it and then grab some out. Yeah. Okay. So do two garlic cloves, they said? Yeah. Yeah. 
a teaspoon so of this has been a while since i've you know um nicole thought we had to cut the sides out but really you just peel it and you grab two what did i, I didn't say cut the sides out. i just said i've never minced the garlic in my life i don't know i didn't know how to actually take it apart so <laughs> we had a problem there but we fixed it now we're all good a teaspoon of oregano it looks pretty good is it oregano yeah. is it oregano Ethan, how do you pronounce oregano? I don't know. Oregano. I'm not going to comment on that one. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's definitely oregano, right? Or are we both wrong? Yeah, you know. Oh, I'm... no. You got to tell us, Ethan. We're if you, if you're holding it out on us, that's like... That's a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I know with the garlic crust, from what I remembered, right? You, you crush you this crush up it. like this. Or something like that. I don't know if you're right. Comment us. Comment below. And then you just dice it. I'm assuming that's what you do. So, fingers crossed that's exactly what we need to do. And I'm not wrong. But then again, never know. I got it. Now I just need to dice it. Right. <laughs> I'm sure like people actually have like a blender that do, does this shit. Oh, are you supposed to mince it? Oh no, you can obviously oh. mince it by hand. But I'm like, my mum would use like a blender thingy thingy. Um, or her thermo well. mix. She loves her thermo mix. But I want to go to like a chopping class to learn how to chop. Yeah, we need Maybe to learn classes. how to like professionally chop stuff. I think that's what we need to do in the next episode. We need to go cook with a chef. So we got the ground beef, the onion. You're yeah, doing the good. garlic. We have the red pepper. All right, the one egg. I'm going to crack the egg in now. The garlic's in and then the streamy, streaky bacon. Are we going to cook that or? That's it. This is very Eggs good. in. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's actually really good, babe. Well done. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> you know? Now, because I have nails, I won't be able to do this. So I will clean up while you do this. Use your hands and like mix everything together. I have to think about it for a second, all right? So I think Like I mix it well with your hands. Like squeeze it in. Make sure you like, you know, get a little bit of everything and everything. That's what people do, right? Alright, so, you, whilst you do that, I will wash all these. It's kind of good right now, you know? Like, I think I've cooked something for a while. I feel like a scientist. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice the streaky bacon. So, we need one piece of bacon to, like, wrap around each meatball. We don't have enough pieces of bacon and they're quite thick, so I'm going to cut them up. So, we basically need 12... Why would you use the whole bacon? We need 12 slices and we don't have 12, okay? Is that how many slices in there? Not 12. How do you know? What does it say? How do I know? Because it says servings per pack is four and also, it, does it look like 12? That looks like 12. All right, let's, let's see. It's definitely... Pretty confident it's 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Oh, okay. Well, Not 12. So we'll be cutting it and then we can wrap it around. It's too big to wrap anyways. So we should slice it like okay, this. Okay, yep, okay, yep, okay. You know? Yeah. Probably make it bigger if they are too small. Definitely recommend uh, making the capsicum a lot smaller next time. Just need to really like, like mush everything in. Like really squeeze yeah. the things in. That made it massive. I think my hands See, are... this is like more, this is like too, it will like fall apart. You know what I, I mean? I think my hands are too sticky to do it. Yeah, the capsicum is making it like hard to... Yeah, definitely not too much capsicum next time. I think the capsicum we bought was just too big as well. Yeah. It was like too, too much capsicum. The whole capsicum. Yeah, because the recipe says one whole capsicum, but you can definitely like just tailor it to whatever you reckon. Warm my hands. Now we fix them up and make them pretty. Really like squish everything in so they'll like stay together and not fall apart. And then what you're gonna do after is apparently wrap it with a piece of bacon. And I don't know how this is gonna like. I yeah, we were supposed to choose long bacon, but we chose the look, healthy. That okay, like, is it, that's fine. If we just like bake it like that, that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? 
We're all just experimenting, okay? We'll make it, we'll make it becomes them... better, I think, as you keep doing it because this is the first time we're cooking it. Yeah. You kind of learn. It's like okay, next time don't use a whole capsicum. Uh, buy longer bacon if you can, so you can fully wrap around. Um, but we'll make the mistakes for you guys. Don't have to make the mistakes. I don't think it has to go all the way around. I think like that is good. This is working out pretty well. It looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Would probably eat if I was not prepping. I'm gonna wash my hands and then pop those in the oven. So 20 minutes is up and it looks pretty done. So let's get it out. Good. I feel like, you know, the chunky capsicum adds to it and the bacon just wraps well. It doesn't need to be any longer. Do you think it's cooking on the inside though? Do we have to check it? <laughs> um, let's cut one up. The moment of truth thing. I think we have to do a big one just... I think we could just see just by cutting it like this, can we? Yeah, that's cooked. Oh that's wow, cooked. that's cooked, yeah. That's cooked, all that right. Cooked. Yeah. Well. I guess the timing was right. Back in high school, things never turned out the way I expected it to be. <laughs> it's supposed to be stacked up. You reckon on top of each other? Mm-hmm. Just on the sides. Like, just heaps of space on the side as well. Yeah. All right, taste test time. Okay, taste test. Should I try it? Yeah. Right, here we go. Hopefully it is cooked. This is the biggest one though. So I think if it's not. Yeah, so that's cooked. That's cooked, yeah. <laughs> you eat so aggressively. It tastes exactly how it looks like like when you're making it and stuff it just tastes exactly like that clean mm, very clean but it definitely makes you feel like you're eating a meatball but yeah i like rice in it like you can literally do rice and meatballs with this just put the meatball put some and rice and you know what one serving is three meatballs so that's super generous actually mm. So here are the macros. So for three meatballs, it's 36 grams mm. of protein. That seems about right, 36 gram yeah. protein. Very, very high protein. Nine carbs, so it's low carb and 14 grams of fat. Honestly, the ones we made is probably a little bit lower in fat because we use the shortcut bacon. Um, if you use the streaky bacon, that will get you up to 14 grams of mm. fat. But I think this will be very lean with the shortcut bacon. So it's actually pretty good for what it is. Yeah, high protein, yeah. low carb, that's exactly what you want. So yeah, I rate this recipe. Definitely reckon like, it does obviously take a while to get it done, but once it's done, you have like four servings. So if you eat like, you know, three a day, you have like four days worth of like yeah. meals. Yeah. You can combine it with like some pumpkin um, or like sweet potato or rice. Mm. Yeah, I think Or just like, eat it like that, it's fine as well. I think eating it like that actually tastes good. Yeah, like, I really, yeah, I really so I think that. eating three of those, you'd be full and yeah. satisfied and that's one meal done for the day. Yeah. So four days worth of meals, yeah. Pretty good. Give it a go, guys. <laughs> give it's it a go like and um, tag us if you do give it a go. She's getting bigger, hey? Don't you reckon? If you eat this, you get jacked. Get, you see this? Meatball. Duh. <laughs> <laughs>